Hello, I'm Adam Thompson, a senior research associate working within the Bristol Composite Institute and Bristol Composite UTC. This video presentation is a short introduction to some of the technology we've been developing in collaboration with Rolls-Royce PLC to predict the mechanical performance of CMCs. So what are CMCs? CMCs is an acronym for ceramic matrix composites. They're a class of material that consists of ceramic fibers embedded within a ceramic matrix. They are considered an alternative to nickel alloys for components in the very hot and high pressure regions of jet engines, with the added benefits of being three times lighter and being able to operate at higher temperatures. These benefits offer the possibility of lighter aircraft engines that produce more thrust while emitting fewer pollutants. Unlike monolithic ceramics, which exhibit very brittle behavior, the microstructural design of CMCs produces an enhanced toughening response, which makes them more amenable to structural applications. To understand this toughening mechanism, it is first necessary to understand how these materials are made and what the resulting microstructure looks like. There are a number of different CMC material configurations. In our case, we're looking at a non-oxide CMC with a 6 sit composition, meaning silicon carbide fibers embedded within a silicon carbide matrix. Here we have a silicon carbide fibers, which are woven into a textile structure. These are then coated in a thin layer of compliant interface material. Following this, a chemical vapor infiltration process is performed. This causes a crystalline silicon carbide structure to grow radially from the surface of the interface. This rigidizes the fabric and the subsequent textile. Following the CVI process, a silicon melt infiltration is performed. In this process, molten silicon and silicon carbide particles are pushed through the rigidized fabric forming the matrix, filling any gaps which exist between the yarns and fibers. The key to the enhanced toughening of this material is all in the presence of the interface coating around the fibers. The interface has a stiffness which is approximately one order of magnitude lower than the other material phases. When the material is loaded along the fiber direction, it first produces a linear response until cracks initiate in the matrix. As these cracks propagate towards the fiber, the interface acts as a mechanical fuse, deflecting the cracks parallel to the fiber surface. This allows for the fibers to continue taking the load until eventually fiber failure occurs. We've developed a 3D analytical damage model, which is able to capture this complex behavior. The model takes the properties of the individual constituents and the relative volume fraction of the individual phases. From this, it performs a complex homogenization procedure, which allows for the combined stiffness and strength of the material to be predicted. This procedure simplifies the microstructure to a cylindrical fiber coated in an interface material which is then embedded in a homogeneous matrix. The fiber is first embedded within the interface and homogenized. This new representation is then embedded within the SMI for a second homogenization step to occur. This approach allows us to resolve the stresses and implement damage on the individual constituents. The model is transversely isotropic, capturing the high toughness along the fiber direction and brittleness of the transverse direction for unidirectional toes. It's able to capture the effect of varying fiber volume fractions, interface thickness, and variance in material phase properties. To predict the behavior of the textile composite, we construct detailed finite element models of the woven composite structure. We use our material model to represent the yarn material and an isotropic damage model to represent the matrix. As the fiber orientation and local volume fraction of each of the yarns varies across the structure, the resulting model has spatially varying material properties. When we subject the finite element models to loading, we see a first linear loading phase until microcracks begin to appear in the matrix. As these cracks saturate, the fiber then takes on the loading until eventually we get ultimate failure at fiber failure. This provides us with the capability to virtually test different weave designs and enables us to see how damage develops in respect to the weave architecture. So far, we've only looked at the mechanical time independent behavior of these materials. As we continue, our research will begin to include thermal environmental effects in our material models and look to upscale the capability to feature and eventually component scale. The ultimate aim of this work is to produce capability to help reduce the design and development cycle of these materials and to provide methods to help predict the service life of CMC components. This work was done in collaboration with Rolls-Royce so I'd like to formally acknowledge and thank them for their contribution. And finally, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.